In this video, I will be demonstrating how to determine a person's occiput to wall distance. This is a special test that has historically been used in the detection of thoracic hyperkyphosis, which is excessive kyphosis in the thoracic spine. To perform this test, the patient will be standing upright as straight as possible with their back against the wall as I am right here. More specifically, the patient's heels, buttocks, and scapulas should be in contact with the wall. So there are going to be three major points of contact on each side. Now some sources will say it's the shoulders themselves that should be in contact with the wall, but this depends on the patient's musculature. In some patients who are very thin, the shoulders may be able to be in contact with the wall. For patients with more posterior musculature, it may need to be the scapulas. Either way is correct, you just need to make the determination. Additionally, the lower orbital margin and the upper margin of the acoustic meatus should reside in the same horizontal plane. That's just a fancy way of saying that the bottom of the eye needs to be in line with the top of the ear hole. And then finally, the neck should be completely neutral, and the patient cannot extend the neck backward in an attempt to bring the occiput closer to the wall. So the neck needs to be neutral, as you see right here. I can't tilt my head backward to attempt to get it closer. That would be a compensation and make the test invalid. Now you're going to need some kind of measuring device, and you're going to measure the distance from the wall to the posterior most protrusion of the occiput, and that's going to be, in most people, the external occipital protuberance marked there with the red dot. Note if the person has hair puffing out backwards, you're going to have to go through the hair to actually touch the measuring device to the external occipital protuberance, and you're going to measure that distance in centimeters. Now the occiput to wall distance preferably should be zero, but an occiput to wall distance less than two centimeters is considered acceptable due to differences in musculature. For example, if the patient has a significant amount of posterior musculature around the buttocks or the scapulas, then that's going to push them farther from the wall and most likely make their occiput to wall distance not absolute zero. However, an occiput to wall distance greater than two centimeters is considered abnormal and would probably indicate some degree of thoracic hyperkyphosis However, you do need to take that result into consideration with respect to your specific patient. Again, an abnormal result most likely indicates some degree of thoracic hyperkyphosis, but an abnormal result is also associated with a depressed mood, postural instability, muscle weakness, and disability, particularly in older women. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.